Hey YouTube, it's Katrina. Welcome to Day 70 of the Orbit, and today I have for you the book Straight Man by Richard Russo. Straight Man is has nothing to do with sexuality in regards to this book. This book is really funny. I really enjoyed reading it. Let me just read to you the back. In this uproarious new novel, Richard Russo performs his characteristic high-wired walk between hilarity and heartbreak. Russo's protagonist is William Henry Devereux Jr., the reluctant chairman of the English department of a badly underfunded college in the Pennsylvania Rust Belt. Devereux's reluctance is partly rooted in his character. He is a born anarchist, and partly in the fact that his department is more savagely divided than the Balkans. In the course of a single week, Devereux will have his nose mangled by an angry colleague Imagine his wife is having an affair with his dean, wonder if a curvaceous adjunct is trying to seduce him with peach pits, and threaten to execute a goose on local television. All this while coming to terms with his philandering father, the dereliction of his youthful promise, and the ominous failure of certain vital bo body functions. In short, straight man is classic Russo, side-splitting and true to life, witty, compassionate, and impossible to put down. Richard Russo <clears throat> is a Pulitzer Prize winning off author. He wrote Empire Falls. That book is over there. This is Empire Falls. It was turned into a movie. Great book. Not going to review it today, but these books are by the same author. Straight Man and Empire Falls are the only Richard Russo works that I've read, but BC has read a bunch of his works and it's funny he's pointed out some common themes and one theme that just stands out to me is like the daddy problems basically parental problems and he's a very funny author but he also has this really he's really amazing style he makes you laugh and he can also make you you know cry and his books are very hmm, philosophical, and the endings of all these books uh, make you think, like, make you stop and think and wonder about your own life. The title of the book comes from a part where the main character, Devereux, says, quote, in English departments, the most serious competition is for the role of the straight man. Straight man comes from the phrase, a straight man, who in comedy is the one who sets up gags or jokes for somebody else um, who will tell the punchline, um, also known as a stooge or second banana. I highly recommend this book to, I would say, older teenagers and up. Yeah, pretty thick book. A little less than 400 pages, this copy. This goose reminds me of the Aflac goose. Aflac! Wah, 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 wah. Aflac! Goose. Is it a duck? I have no clue. No, it can't be a duck. It's a goose. Goose, geese, goose, geese, goose, a goose. Wait a second. Actually, that is a duck. Okay, update, this is a duck, which is wrong, because in the book it's a goose. And the difference between uh, the look, at least, of a- why is everything interrupting me? Oh my god. <laughs> what do you want from my life? Take whatever. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> This is a goose. No, it's not. <sighs> Guys, this is a duck. In the book, it's a goose. And the difference between how a white goose and a white duck looks is in the beak area. I should just go, I don't have a beak. Beak, that is a duck beak. It's mad. It's supposed to be a goose. Well, whatever. 
I was trying to think of a way to combine the words goose and duck. I came up with deuce. Alright guys, seriously, I'm done now. <laughs> Have a great day. Bye.